Stephanie Dworak and her husband Dave always wanted a big family, yeah. a sibling for their daughter Harper. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so when they found out Stephanie was pregnant with a boy last summer, they were overjoyed. This is a very wanted child. We planned for this baby. But 12 weeks into the pregnancy, an ultrasound revealed an emphalocele, a birth defect where the fetus's internal organs were developing outside the body. This photo shows a defeated Stephanie the day she received the tragic news. What would that have meant for quality of life for this baby? There, there would have been none. He would not have been able to survive or come home. Stephanie was also told her own life could be in jeopardy. At 19 weeks, she and her husband made the painful choice to terminate the pregnancy. An abortion was what I needed to save my life and give my son the dignity that he deserved. I couldn't carry this baby to term and have my husband have to bury both of us. It, it just wasn't an option. Abortion was. Their home state of Nebraska allowed abortions up to 22 weeks, but they couldn't find a clinic that could schedule the procedure in time. After a desperate search across nearby states, the family settled on the Boulder Abortion Clinic in Colorado. Is that your name? Dr. Warren Hearn has been providing what, abortions what, what, for nearly well, half a century. He's 84 years well, old and these, remembers the days before example, Roe versus Wade. After. Thousands of women died every year from unsafe, illegal abortions. I think one of the consequences of this decision is that women will die as they did before Roe versus Wade. In Colorado, abortion is legal at all stages of pregnancy. Even before the Supreme Court's ruling last week, Colorado's family planning clinics were struggling. This is sort of an abortion intensive care unit. Uh, we get patients from all over the country who can't be seen in other clinics. How do you see that impacting the surge of patients coming to Colorado? Absorb. Uh, and so it takes a long time to expand the services. You have to find the people who will do this and risk their lives to do it. As one of the few people in the country who performs legal abortions later in pregnancy, Dr. Hearn says he's seen his patient load increase 50 percent from a year ago. One of the things that's, that's critical to understand is that safe abortion is an essential component of women's health care in the 21st century. And that's the way it should be. And no woman's life and health should be at the mercy of the next election or her zip code. <laughs> Harper still asks about Oliver James, the name the Dwarax picked out for her would-be brother. I had to tell her that baby was too sick and that baby wasn't going to come home with us and that she, she wasn't going to get to meet her little brother. His ashes, hand and footprints enshrined on the living room shelf. We very much want another child, but what if this happens again? What if I have another high-risk pregnancy that puts my own life at risk? I do want another baby, and now I'm scared to. I was so excited at the idea of a positive pregnancy test, and now it scares me. It scares me. Because I might not be able to get an abortion this time. Lucy Kalfanov, CNN, Boulder, Colorado.